वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू दिस प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन डाटा हैंडलिंग क्लास सेवेन मैथ्स चैप्टर थ्री द कलेक्शन रिकॉर्डिंग एंड प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डाटा हेल्प अस ऑर्गेनाइज आवर एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड ड्रॉ इन्फ्रेंसेस फ्रॉम देम इन क्लास सिक्स वी हैव डेल्ट विथ वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ डाटा वी हैव लर्न अबाउट कलेक्शन ऑफ डाटा इट्स टैबुलेशन एंड पुटिंग इट in the form of bar gaps in this chapter we will take one more step towards learning how to do this this chapter is divided into two videos this is the part 1 video which covers a detailed explanation of all the concepts of the topic such as collection of data organization of data arithmetic mean mode mode of large data median use of bar graphs with a different purposes chance and probability etc and the part 2 covers the ncert exercises questions with solutions in a simple method to understand easily subjects like maths science english social science and ict etc will become easy to study if you watch the videos of this nitigrity education platform youtube channel it is it is completely helpful for students and scholars appearing school and competitive exams so stay tuned for the videos by subscribing the channel and pressing on all notification bell let us first learn the keywords or concepts of this chapter so that it will be easier to understand and solve the questions statistics branch of mathematics dealing with the collection analysis interpretation and presentation of numerical data data information in the form of numerical figures collected for some specific purpose data handling collection organization and representation of the data to draw inferences from it is called data handling observation is numerical figure of the set of data frequency the number of times an observation occurs in a data frequency distribution table tabular representation of frequency of each observation in a data primary data the raw information or first hand evidence secondary data interpretation of the information from primary data collecting data before collecting data we need to know what we would use it for array arranging the data in the form of ascending or descending order is called array organization of data putting data in a systematic manner or a tabular form to understand and interpret easily representative value or central tendency of the group data the particular value which represents the complete data different forms of data need different forms of representative or central value to describe it there are three type of central tendency of data mean mode and median the average or arithmetic mean or simply mean is equal to sum of all observations divided by number of observations mean always lies between the greatest and smallest observation of the data this is not necessary that the value of mean will be for one of the observations the most common representative value of a group of data is the arithmetic mean or mean range is the difference between the highest and the lowest observation of the data that is range is equal to highest observation minus lowest observation 
mode the observation that occurs most often a set of numbers have more than one mode mode of a large data if the number of observations is very large then we can convert the data in the tabular form using frequencies and tally marks then it will be easy to find the mode of the given data median the value which lies in the middle of the data with half of the observations above it and the other half below it when data are in array form if the number of observations is odd that is n median is equal to value of n plus 1 divided by tooth observation if the number of observations is even that is n median is equal to value of n by tooth observation plus value of n by 2 plus oneth observation divided by 2 the mean mode and median are connected by the empirical relations that is mode is equal to 3 medians minus 2 mean pictograph representation of data through pictures and objects bar graph pictorial representation of numerical data in the form of bars created vertically and horizontally with equal spacing between them with proper scale a bar graph is a representation of numbers using bar of uniform widths double bar graphs helps to compare two collections of data at a glance the scale large numbers cannot be represented in a bar graph so the scaling factor is used to reduce or scale down large numbers tans it predicts simply a possibility number of outcomes the set of all the possible outcomes to occur in any experiment is known as number of outcomes favorable outcome it is one of the possible results of an experiment probability it is the measure of the chance of a particular event probability is equal to number of favorable outcomes divided by no, total number of outcomes probability of an event which has no chance of happening is zero probability of an event which is bound to happen is one friends thank you for your patience watching and listening the first part of data handling chapter 3 class 7 of ncert mathematics i hope you enjoyed this presentation please like the video and share your comments with us in the comment section stay in touch for the second part which covers the questions and answers in the simplest possible way don't forget to subscribe this free educational channel and hit the notification bell to get more scholarly handy lessons for academic and other competitive exam see you in the next video thank you happy learning